Here in Unbar, fighting is close range <coughs> and almost personal. Special Forces Captain Abdul Qadir Hamid fires a mortar across a country road on the eastern outskirts of Ramadi. He's aiming at a nearby house where ISIL gunmen are holed up in the palm groves. They're part of a unit trained by American Special Forces who are clearing the way for the Iraqi army. Sniper Mohammed Jabbar is even closer to the gunmen. He's fighting for his country and his family, including his daughter Sarah, her name tattooed on his hand. There is less than 500 meters between us. We have air support, and with the help of God, we have the upper hand. Little by little, we are advancing. This is a strategic spot on the intersection of the road to Salahadeen province, Fallujah, and the south of Ramadi, where tribes are coordinating the fight against ISIL. The fighting has been fierce. This ISIL gunman was killed when a sniper bullet hit the rocket-propelled grenade he was about to launch. We targeted the rats of ISIL and we destroyed their hideouts. This is all in cooperation with the 8th and 10th Division of the Iraqi Army. As you can see, we're clearing all the orchards and farms. They're trapped now. The village called Sajaria is deserted. This rural area has become a battlefield. The men fighting with special forces are from the tribes, hugely important to the battle for Unbar. Here there is a fight within a fight, ISIL against the Sunni tribes that have turned against them. When this special forces team finishes the deployment, the men will go back to the Ain al-Assad Air Base in western Al Anbar. There are American military advisors back on the base, but the fighting is here. Around Baghdad, ISIL has been driven back by Iraqi security forces working with Shia militias. That won't work in Anbar, where the population is almost all Sunni, tribal, and deeply suspicious of the Iraqi government. Tribal leaders in Anbar are calling for arms and ammunition. Some are even calling for help from American troops on the ground. That likely won't happen, but it's an indication of how desperate the fight is in Iraq's western province. Jane Araf, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.